This is what the Terraria mech bosses should have been. The Terraria mech bosses rework mod adds in tons of new attacks and abilities that make the mech bosses way more fun and unique to take on. On top of that, it even adds in mechanical versions of the Queen Bee and Brain of Cthulhu. And even on top of that, it adds in a bunch of cool and unique weapons and items. Let's check it out. So we are here checking out the mech rework mod. Now originally I was going to wait for this mod to update to Tmod 1.4.4, but I said whatever, let's check it out. Maybe in the future we might check it out in 1.4.4 if it adds in a bunch of new stuff. I do know they're going to add some things to Mechdusa and tweak Mechdusa, so maybe there'll be a short or something. But for now, let's check it out. This is the same mod made by the person who did the Golem rework mod, which I never knew, which is really cool because the Golem rework mod is a solid rework slash overhaul. So I'm excited to see this here. Let's bring in the twins. I have a texture pack on. I should probably turn it off. Hold up. All right, let's try it again. Okay, the sprites are the same, but I just want to see it with vanilla sprites to make sure, you know. Wait, hold up. Am I in master mode? I'm not even in master mode. Talk about that. All right, there you go. For real this time. I'm already fumbling. So, as we can see off rip, we got Spaz shooting out tons of curse flames. Now, the twins, I, I think they're like an average boss fight. Can be difficult because of their speed, and that's really about it. So, having them have more attacks obviously already makes the fight way more fun. Way more interesting of that, too. Because, like, really they just shoot projectiles and chase you around that's it there ain't really any variety but this alone already adds in a little bit more variety not a lot but obviously we haven't even really touched them yet let's uh see what happens if we start hurting them a little bit here let's start with spaz i'm gonna hurt spaz oh look at that that's like a quarter of his health he started spinning into the next form already probably because their health bar is connected but pretty interesting we got his flamethrower still something about it looks a lot cooler i don't know what Maybe I just haven't seen it in a while. On top of his flamethrower, he shoots out some uh, cursed balls, some cursed flame projectiles. And it looks like they might bounce too, because they just came from the floor, so I'm assuming they bounce. Wait! Yeah, they do bounce, okay. But now let's get the red naser into his phase two here. So this should be half health. I can't even grab him. There you go. So now we got both of them in that half health territory. This is a situation you never want to be in personally. You always want to kill one of them. Oh my God. He really letting the beams go. Red naser showing his red laser. I like this little attack he got going on where he like summons in a little circle that explodes. So this fight definitely going to be a lot tougher. Okay, so he shoots little missiles. I thought it was just like a little eyeball and then a circle exploded. No, he shooting out little missiles at you. Let's do more damage to Spaz. I don't know if there's a another phase. Oh my God. Okay, he died. It was a cool death animation. I thought we were about to get a third phase. I'm best with this laser. I like how he does actually move depending where you are. Or he attempts to move. It's a little bit slow, so maybe not as effective. But let's do more damage to him. I don't think we're going to see too much else here. But we are going to see the beautiful death animation, which I'm messing with. Wait, hold up. He ain't done yet. Phase three. This is on some uh, Ornstein and Smo type fight right here. Where we killed the other one, and now this one is powered up. Look at this. My boy flying around. I don't know who he's attacking way out there, but I respect it. He's trying to get revenge for his fallen brother. Yeah, this this looks like it's going to be super challenging with all these projectiles everywhere. But let us finish him off now for real this time. Phase four. No way. Phase three is always pushing it, but once you got a phase four, it's like, come on, bro. <laughs> Any video game boss I got a phase four is wild. All right, we're gonna do Skeletron next because uh, there's a reason why I can't do either in this world. I might have to go into a new world. But let us bring in Big Skeletron Prime. Whoa, he actually has a different sprite. He looks kind of scary. He's got some jets on his face. I mess with that. Oh. Okay, I thought those were about to be lasers. Laser beams, not just little, little pew, pew, pew. Yeah, all his uh, hands are doing some new attacks. We got some rockets shooting out. We got the saw blade shooting out saws here and there. The vice gripper gripping. What else does it do? But I don't even know how to start this fight off. So we can't hit him. We have to break his hands. All right, let's break the weakest hand then. The vice gripper. As we can see, it's kind of like in a like overheated form. So maybe it does more damage and moves faster. Yeah, it looks like it's moving way faster. I like that. That's an interesting concept. There you go. Broke one of your hands. You want me to break some more? All right, I'll break some more then. Bring, bring me that saw blade. Yeah, look at this. This one's overheated too. You know what? I should overheat everything if possible. You got to get a really low to overheat it. Oh, where'd that saw blade go? You know, whatever. It's too hard. I'm having trouble grabbing his hands. Look at this. Uh, I'm missing every grab. So now... It's just his head. He's shooting out the little homing missiles just like the uh, 
expert mode version oh there's those laser beams i was talking about i even dodged that shit even though i'm in god mode just instincts but yeah he shoots out those homie skulls like he does in uh, expert mode or the regular skeleton does in expert mode oh i like that attack crazy amount of attacks coming out for him he's pretty much using all the attacks that his hands had which is kind of cool he's shooting out you know saw blades he's shooting out bombs maybe if we get close enough he might grip on us with his mouth the, that sounded kind of weird but let us do some damage to his head let's bring him to the half health anything new it doesn't look like it all right bring him lower then i don't expect we're gonna see too much new stuff like there's no way we're gonna get like a third phase like the twins because he already had a decent amount of attacks as is because he has four hands and then he's got a head that also attacks so that's a decent amount of attacks there but let us finish him off i love the death animation wait hold up i bet i kind of want to bring him back in because i bet uh his head i bet all of these bosses probably have like an overheat mode if you bring them into uh a small enough health bar the thing is you just gotta kind of be careful but there you go he's overheated and now He's gonna really let it go. He's gonna double up the speed, double the attack speed. is about to get crazy. Or at least it looks crazy. I don't know. You're kind of moving the same. Uh, that's definitely faster, actually. But now, let me beat his ass again. Overheated or not, you gotta go. All right, I'm gonna bring in the eater here, and I hope that he actually stays in the world. Because if you haven't noticed, this mod adds in a mech version of the brain, which is amazing, and a mech version of the queen bee, which is also amazing. So let me bring in the destroyer and let's see if he actually sits around and stays. Oh, look at that. He's got a new sprite. Go ahead and unravel. And already he is shooting like a billion lasers. Like this reminds me legit of the eater shooting the spit. Oh God, what is that? Like a drill mode he's doing. He doesn't actually break blocks. Thank God. Saw him shoot a little missile right there. He seems a lot more agile than the regular destroyer. Okay, he's in uh, this purple mode now. So it seems like whatever color his body is, the little orbs on his body, depends on the type of attacks he's going to be shooting out. So we can see he's a little bit slower in that purple form, shooting out all these like electric beams. And now he's in this green form. What the heck? Dropping straight up bombs on me. I like how he's circling around us. This is kind of cool. All right, where do I start in attacking him? Let's do some damage. We're going to do it with the Zenith because I don't want to insta kill him. Does he send out probes? I have no idea. I'm not seeing any probes unless I'm killing him right away. Oh, I'm definitely killing him right away. I'm trying to decide what my favorite form is. Is either the one where he's throwing straight up bombs at us or is the electric one? That electric one looked really cool. This one right here. I like this one. I think my least favorite might be the drill one. I, like, he's off screen half the time when he does the, the drill slash fast movement speed one. Yeah, let's do some more damage to him. See if the attacks get any crazier. But this is already, like, a major step up from the regular destroyer. Because, like, the regular destroyer is an easy fight. It's usually one of the easiest story of boss fights. Super easily cheesable. A lot of segments, so he's always easy to just hit him with a lot of DPS. So just having any more varied amount of attacks on him is also nice we got the probes attacking us do the probes also have different attacks because look their color changed too i wonder yeah look they're shooting out the the different attacks that he does during this i want to see the next one hold up the next one should be electric one so do they shoot electric beams too they're kind of just like circling around me oh there you go that's kind of sick that's a nice little detail i messed with that so if you didn't accidentally insta kill the probes like i've been doing they also shoot out some new did that say tactical nuke incoming what is that supposed to be yes <laughs> Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> I, I thought we were about to blow up the whole world. But let us finish him off here. And look at that. Another beautiful death animation. Oof. Satisfying, too. But yeah, that was the regular three Meg bosses reworked. And now we're going to check the two new ones. We got MK22 Caretaker. And we got the Terminator. Let's do the Terminator first. So we're going to do the brain first. Uh, we got to think about what the brain usually does the brain is also a very easy to area boss fight spawns in little creepers you gotta kill the creepers you gotta kill the brain and then it teleports around tries to hit you with after images to trick you so i wonder if the mech boss is gonna reflect that in any way or if it's gonna be a whole new thing let's see okay he pulling up with the creepers i like it creepers shooting little beams here look like a metroid attack uh seeker droids that's the name of them and they got what 4500 health that's that's pretty tanky for some uh creepers they're kind of hard to hit too uh, maybe i gotta bring out the zenith again and hit them like this so i cannot hit the brain just like the regular fight can't hit the brain until the uh, seeker drones or whatever the hell these things are secret droids are dead understandable but yeah this looks like it's gonna be a decent boss fight a lot of projectiles just in this first phase alone i'm interested to see what happens in this phase bring it on what you got 
Oh, shoot. He throwing the tricks out right away. Straight to the after images. It's not like the regular expert fight where you work your way up to like having troubles figuring out which one's which. Now, it's starting off rip with all these tricks. So far, it's been pretty easy to tell who's who. Because like... There was a bunch of red ones, and he was a silver one. You're not fooling me there. But I'm assuming those red ones also do damage. Okay, this one's a little bit harder. You can tell which one it is. It's the, the one with the opening, but like, look how much he's moving. And then this, yeah, I'm assuming these hit you. Should I hop out of God mode and get hit? I'm not wearing armor, so I should not do that. <laughs> I like this laser attack, so you got to be careful about being underneath them. But let us start doing some damage. Get him to the halfway point, see if he unleashes anything new. If he speeds it up. This might be one of the tougher ones to overheat. Oh, I like this attack. We're getting some new attacks. We have this dude, he moves around a little bit, so overheating him could be dangerous. Are these just like... Okay, they're just not there. This dude really bringing out all the tricks and illusions. Back to this attack. But yeah, imagine like this attack overheated. He'd be moving. But I do like that they're kind of like keeping in the theme of the brain of Cthulhu. Like his whole fight is tricks and illusions. And also the drones around him. So it's nice that they stick to the theme of it. Let's go ahead. Let's beat his ass though. Bring him into overheat mode just to see straight up chaos go down. Oh, he moving. He moving. I do really like the detail of like an overheat mode, like they go crazy with the last little bit of health, which can be very dangerous because the amount of times I get terrarium bosses to a little bit amount of health and also I have a little bit amount of health and it's like whoever clutches it out first wins. It happens a lot. If you've watched like any playthroughs of me, like any live stream playthroughs, you'll see that it happens a good amount. Even when I do just straight up like challenge runs, we're bringing in the next boss here. We got the caretaker. I'm just going to spawn her straight up like this. Hopefully it doesn't mess up anything. But off rip. A mech queen bee is an amazing idea. And she looks super cool. She got the little cannons on the bottom. She got like jet packs that she uses for wings. Like this is so cool. She even got bees flying around here. I saw. I kind of wish that these bees were like mechanized versions. That'd be even cool. Or that'd be an even cooler idea that I'd mess with. But I still mess with it anyways. Because it's a mech queen bee. Like this is awesome. Yeah, she's shooting out little missiles. She doing dash attacks. Very similar to her just regular boss fight which again i appreciate keeping in theme but let's do a little bit more damage let's see what other attacks we can get her to start throwing out the queen bee herself also not a bad terrible boss fight but like once you like figure out what's going on it's it's pretty easy you know she does dashes she spawns bees she shoots thorns that's it we got these little what are these b shanks ah b33 shanks okay so here's our mech bees that i was looking for so we gotta kill these to attack her we can't hurt her until these things are dead what else you got for us oh she's shooting out a little like tesla beams connected by balls watch out don't get hit by the balls and then she got that attack which actually shoots out uh, way more balls i'm definitely getting balls in my face okay what is that whoa she's summoning in like cluster bombs just landmines she's summoning big bees that's the biggest bees i've ever seen what the hell not as big as her but that, that'd be terrifying reminds me of the big ass ants from uh that fourth indiana jones movie okay she got more balls whoa these like suck you in or something like i feel like i couldn't really move when i was in those i do like she has way more attacks once we like got her to half health because some of the mech bosses they kind of just kept a, a majority of the same attacks but once we got her lower she's bringing out a whole new playbook yeah let's go ahead let's beat her ass she's still bringing out a couple of new attacks look at this pretty sick she might have the best boss fight so far we're gonna bring her into her overheated mode and let's see what she does is she gonna pick up the pace she's spawning in way more mutant bees or at least faster i kind of want to see her dash around she's too shy to dash around she doesn't really feel like doing it okay i respect it you know cardio is tough let's go ahead and end her though another beautiful explosion yes sir there we go that was all of the mech bosses reworked i really messed with it heavy because not only did it rework all of them but it added in two new mech bosses like come on not to mention look at all this content so not only did we get a bunch of new boss fight stuff but now we get a bunch of new items not to mention they also reworked a bunch of the mech tiered items so like any weapons that are in the mech tier area they touched up made cooler 
made stronger, stuff like that. But man, where do I even start here? Let's start just top left. Forget it. Whatever. Artificial stinger. That's got a long description. That, that's like a stars above type of description. All right. It uses darts and arrows for ammo. Okay, hold on. Let me pull out some darts. Now. And then it overcharges loaded ammo, making them more powerful. Empowered arrows leave ionic trace. Right click to load magnetic darts that will latch onto targets. Okay, let's see it in action. Oh my God. I always love electric weapons that have that little electrical circle, little Tesla circle around them it's always cool always does great damage but let's see the right click why am i shooting backwards <laughs> it's like whatever direction i walk is the direction i shoot in it's kind of interesting yeah cool weapon there i like it we got a mech theme weapon like come on all right what do we got next we got pets okay i don't really think we need to see pets but you know we could show one of them look at that that's pretty cool I like that. What the heck? <laughs> Maybe we do show off the pets because this is literally like a light source on my mouse. All right, we got bloodshed. Sure, give me that blood stain pocket watch. What do we got here? What does this do? Okay, this seems like this is just a material for a stronger weapon. What weapon? Oh, true bloodshed. Let's go straight to that. What are we looking like? True bloodshed. Okay, this looks like Icor. So maybe this is a drop from the Mech Queen. Maybe. No Icor. Maybe Icor. Our boss is not affected by our No, they definitely are. Maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. What else do we got? Blood stained pocket watch. Summons blood stained silver knives that shoot towards the cursor. This sounds cool. Ooh, I like this. Uh, we got the breach cutter. Fires a vertical beam of plasma. Ignores some defense. Ooh. Hey, this is the attack that the Queen Bee was using on us. Okay, so we get to get our hands on it and also use it against other enemies. That's cool. I like that. Any weapon that like makes it so you take a boss attack and turn into weapons is always a sick weapon I can get behind. We got a clockwork wrench. Summons a clockwork turret. Let's see it. Oh, see, I was thinking clockwork. I was thinking do do do. Do, 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 you know the burst shot but now this straight up a gatling gun now is this a sentry or is this a summon probably a sentry right yeah hey i can always get behind more sentries you know that's a lackluster area in terraria all right what else we got you know what? let me just grab a bunch why not double trouble summons in either spaz or retinazer to flare around the player retinazer shoots lasers with spaz shoots curse flames count as a whip but not affected by whip range bonuses yo this is pretty sick for a whip what the heck do I have to hit them with the eyeballs themselves? Yeah, I do. What the heck? Okay, so it's a very interesting whip idea. Maybe not the greatest. Kind of reminds me of like a flail more than a whip. Still a cool idea. Next up, we got Exidium. Swing a spear that shoots lightning and missiles. Yo. <laughs> That's enough said. I don't even gotta hear anything else. Right click to detonate the missiles prematurely. Ooh. And the spears can hit through tiles? Let's bring out a regular Queen Bee and let's try it out. So I can just blow up the missiles whenever. If I just like spam right click, you see how like it's just exploding? Pretty cool. I like that. We got Finis. Throw once every two swings generates bolts that orbit the user holding a right click while attacking causes the site to automatically home on the closest enemy. Hitting something with the site while it's strong causes it to bolts to home on the enemy. Okay, got it. This seems like a very sick weapon. These weapons are pretty dope for a rework mod like I, I didn't really expect anything in terms of weaponry but they've all been pretty unique and great so far and then uh what is it so we could hold right click causes the sight to automatically home in on the nearest enemy okay so i, I don't even gotta aim it would just attack the queen bee without me really having to aim except for when it misses <laughs> next up we got hand prime oh my god right click to switch between four modes okay i can figure it out we got the laser mode we switch we got the cannon mode Ooh, this home's nice we got the saw blade mode and then we got the hook mode aka the vice grip also works as a grappling hook it looks like maybe maybe i don't know it grabs onto enemies though anything else interesting saw mode cannot be used until the launch saw despawns okay so the the saw mode does actually shoot saws maybe oh there you go <laughs> i was waiting for it to shoot left click to pull yourself toward the hook ah okay it's kind of like messing up a little bit because i have omni swing on all right just grabbed a bunch of more stuff there really is a lot of stuff like this is sick we got jumbo shark look at that the shark gun and it shoots i don't know what is that like a baby shark shoot something like a little baby something and then shoots three bullets and what else right click to zoom out okay so you got the zoom feature i don't know how many turret players actually use this i feel like this hurts my head when i start using this we got the kill switch this brings in a little pet what do we got what does it look like where is it oh there you go we got laser stars attack faster every consecutive enemy hit stacks up to three okay so this is a boomerang type weapon and if we bring in multiple enemies give me multiple decently strong enemies it gets a little crazier the more enemies you hit 
Missile launch codes. Summons a missile battery that stays behind the player, shoots more missiles per burst, the more minion slots occupied. Okay. Shoot, how about 15 of them? How about I give you 15 missile slots? So we sure have got a little missile backpack on. And we might as well pair this with this destroyer whip that spawns probes on critical hits. This would honestly be a very unique setup here. You would never know that I was a summoner besides the whip part. I like this idea a lot. Where my my probes at, man? Where my drones at? I'm not landing any crits. I'm landing a lot of hits. One of these gotta be crits. All right, what's next? Terminator sequence. The gun itself deals contact damage. Hitting enemies has a chance to spawn a mini secret droid. Okay. So we got the regular shot, and then the gun itself does contact damage, which is a very interesting idea. So I can kind of use it like a saw. And then look at that. We got the little secret drone next to us. Coiled eyeball. Summons a mini retinasers to shoot lasers. Where did this zombie come from? Whatever. You get to hit by the little mini retinasers. I like this. This seems like this should be a magic weapon. Or not magic weapon. A summon weapon. Skull of steel. Summons prime hands to fight for you. So we got a nice little equipable. Oh my god. I thought they were going to be little tiny hands. Now, these are big boys. These are just regular hands, though. These aren't like the uh, the rework or the overhaul versions. These are legit like the original sprites from regular Skeletron Prime. All right, we have our last couple weapons here. And then I'm going to show off what looked like the coolest stuff. Uh, let's start with this swarm grenade. I'm assuming this is just a B grenade. Yeah but like crazier more damage late game b grenade we got snake and we got spur fires a curving ball of energy fires almost as fast as you could pull the trigger holding down the trigger will cause it to fire at a controlled rate okay so you, we got the little controlled rate or we could do this or i'm gonna get crazier i'm gonna get crazier i'm gonna try okay okay it's not that crazy I'm gonna break my wrist doing that. Spur! Charges and releases the fire concentrated laser beam. Laser is stronger the longer you charge it. So how long can I charge it? Is there a limit? Okay, there's a limit. <laughs> I like that. I thought it was gonna be like a powerful blast, like last prism type thing, but it was a little pew. And then we got the sublime stellar sling. Shoots a burst of six stars that lock onto the closest target. That sounds pretty good. Maybe with this weapon, you could do a star only themed weapon playthrough. This thing's a little inaccurate though. I thought I said it homes in. Locks on to the closest target. Yeah, my ass it does. <laughs> Last but not least, the two things that look the coolest here. Hopefully I don't miss anything else. Was this rabbit room? Oh, you can cycle between world difficulties, but it's a cheat item. This right here, mechanical wings and then mechanical jet. Let's start with this. Let's put the wings on. And look at that. We have the same wings that the queen bee had. Allows flight, slow fall. Press down to toggle hover. Press it. That don't seem like a... <laughs> that don't seem like a hover. Wait, okay, I gotta hold space while doing it. Press up to deactivate hover. Well, I could just let go to deactivate it. Hold down while not flying to fall faster. Okay, got it. And if I hold up while flying up, we go faster. I like this. These are like super unique wings. A lot more maneuverability. It's very interesting. They also look cool. And then we got the mechanical jet. Just like there's a mechanical minecart, there's a mechanical jet. Summons a fast rideable jet that hovers, deals contact damage at max speed. Attacking summons a barrage of missiles, deal damage based on your weapon attack speed. Let's see. My boy whipping it in a jet. Hold on. This thing hovers, so I don't even need to necessarily fly. Let me see the missiles. Do I have to shoot the missiles? What do they say about the missiles? Attack summon. Attacking summons a barrage of missiles. So I gotta attack myself ah look at that okay now i want to just hit him with the jet itself not bad damage i wasn't really going that fast if we get a lot of speed we probably can do like a thousand damage okay i'm lying definitely not a thousand damage but we can do one more damage if we got more speed but this is sick mechanical minecart already was sick but what about a mechanical jet yeah thank y'all for watching the video shout out the developers that made the mod it's a dope mod i recommend checking it out i'll see y'all in the next video